I'm Yvonne Richards. I work for Let's Get Cooking, which is part of the Children's Food Trust. And we're working with Iceland, funding to work with foster carers and residential children's home staff to help them to get their foster children cooking. It's really, really important because cooking can help the children to become more independent. It gives them the obvious practical skills, but it also gives them self-esteem and a lot of other things like communication skills. And it just helps them to achieve something and feel good about themselves. You tend to get into the routine of doing the same food, mainly what the children like. But I thought I'd come here, find out a few new ideas, new ways of teaching kids to uh, learn to cook in the kitchen. A lot of it is things I hadn't thought of before about the safety and peeling things, because I have it has crossed my mind about peeling things, how to peel a carrot or how to peel an onion. And I sometimes I think it's quite dangerous, and you you don't really know how to train a child. It's better than other training I've been on. It's very well organised, I think. Uh, I like the way it's all planned, and uh, I think it's amazing, really. I think they get out of it some confidence, because a lot of people cook from home and cook for themselves, but when they're kind of doing it with other people, they get a little bit nervous. So this is just giving them the confidence that what they're actually doing is correct and that it's okay for them to pass on that message to other people so they go out of here feeling good and hopefully having a few new recipes under their belt as well. I feel that children in care are often quite vulnerable and they usually have some unhealthy habits with food and I think the most important thing that they might gain from this training is a better relationship with food. I did a chicken once with uh, some lemons, I put lemons around it and the little girl we'd had, she said that, I, I, don't, I like the chicken but I don't like the yellow things and I didn't know what she meant, what yellow things, she meant lemon, so she didn't know what a lemon was and they don't, they don't, a lot of them don't really know what vegetables are. Practically all of the children we've had come to us, their knowledge of cooking is nothing, it's takeaway. Well one of the children we had was a little boy, he was two when he came to us and he was brought him in house with a lot of dogs and unfortunately he sort of had the same sort of behaviour, he used to actually eat with the dogs. So his way of eating would be to put his face straight into a bowl and we sort of try to introduce him to normal food really, sort of solid food, he was used to lots of mush. So we'd give him a banana for example and he'd take a bite out of the banana without even taking the peel off. And then another child we've got, she has um, quite significant special needs. But she also came from a home where food was always a fight, whoever got to the food first. And she was unfortunately one of the last, so she was quite underweight and malnourished. It's just again to have fresh ideas and other people's perspective and as well to be inspired again to cook because it's always such a battle. So you sort of lose the passion and the enjoyment out of cooking. So it's nice to come to something like this which sort of inspires you to try different things and to get the children more involved as well. We've been hoping to work with foster carers for a long time because it's such an important thing and so I'd like to say a really massive thank you to the Iceland Foods Charitable Foundation for giving us the funding and making this possible today.